let's just try and see if we can actually connect so we have the database available inside Visual Studio. I'm not sure if this can be done on Mac, so you have to try it out yourself. Um, if not, you can go and use Azure directly and I'll gladly show a lesson on that later on. Uh, not right now. So if we go into the Server Explorer right here and you go into Data Connections, if you don't have the Server Explorer, I think it's in here, you can find it. Server Explorer, there it is. Control Alt S or just Server Explorer. And you can right-click Data Connection and see Add Connection. We want an SQL Server right here, this guy. And we'll say Continue. Now, what you need inside this guy, I just have this guy open. It's actually part of the uh, connection string that we made earlier. Because here it says TCP, ESVCS, and let me just show you the entire name here for my server. So this is actually the connection to your server on Azure. So this would be your, if you have a database somewhere else, this would be the server name for your database. And then I go in here and I say I want SQL Server Authentication on this server right here. And in my case, I'm going to put in my username. Oh, you have it now. Oh my God, please don't hack me. And uh, I'm going to put in the password, uh, which I can't tell you because then I would have to, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy stuff. And then the last thing I can go here, if I actually have right connection, it'll actually show me the available databases. And there we go. Now here's my database, CS27. I'll pick that one, boink, and I'll just zoom out again. I can just test the connection with this small button here. It says it's a success and I'll say okay. And now I should actually have access to that database. And what can I use that for? Well, I can actually start doing some queries to figure out what's in here. First of all, notice now I can start looking at the tables. Now this is not going to be an SQL series, but here are my tables. I can right click a table, I can say query the table, I can say add new table, I can do a lot of stuff, right? And I can show table data here for the customers. Let's just try and do that and see what actually happens. It's going to try and query the database on the Azure server right now, on the database up there. And um, let's see if it gets access. And there we go. We have access now to the database. And notice, beautiful view here, just like the old SQL server or management studio could handle for us. And we're ready. Yay. Now you also have access to the actual database on Azure. And you can start testing your data as you start talking with the database when you do not use data in memory. So it's up to you again. Use in memory. Happy days. When you want to go live, that's all it took. Two freaking lessons. Yeehaw, we're done. See you next time.